At this time and to this place, we come for a purpose. To celebrate the season at this cross quarter of November, which we call Samhain. To remember our ancestors and to know our participation in that which is greater than us. Let us begin this rite with an act of giving, for nothing and no one in this interdependent world is so small that it does not need a gift. The recipient of the gift today is this plot of land, a recently harvested rice field, and the gift is a gift of water, symbolic to nourish the soil. The one that flourishes nourishes the whole. Here and now is the center, the fulcrum of the mind, the hearth of the community, the birthplace of the cosmos. This is the center around which all revolves. It does not revolve around us, we revolve around it. As we pass round, we affirm our place within the mind. This is the center around which all revolves. It does not revolve around us, we revolve around it. As we pass round, we affirm our place within the community. This is the center around which all revolves. It does not revolve around us, we revolve around it. As we pass round, we affirm our place within the cosmos. Behold the center. Here and now we are of the world. And what is of the world can change the world. Now let us see through the eyes of our ancestors, our eldest ancestors, first forms of life to behold the world. Like ancient matter in the moment of its first glimmer of consciousness, we open to all the sensations by which the world presents itself here and now. I would like to share a story of one of my ancestors, my great-grandmother on my father's side, Zora Detweiler. Her maiden name was Zora Hall. She had a particularly difficult childhood. She lost her mother when she was still but an infant, never knew her. Her mother uh, was taken by a grease fire. She was alone in the house at the time, ran outside to get help from a neighbor, but it was too late. She burned up. Zora grew up and lived without a mother. She lived a long, fruitful, full life. She lived to the age of 102. A poem from my great-grandmother to Zora Hall. The evening was chill when a child lay down in a crib as tiny as ten months tall, and the house as silent, not a soul around, her only child only, lonely Zora Hall. Leapt the flame up, the lacy dress caught, a white flash fled a fire. Through the night a neighbor sought, too late, though the flame expired. Still she sleeps, a silent child, though a long life had lone crib to pall. With mother sleeps and slumbers mild, 
for only, child only, lonely, Zora Hall. Great Grandma Zora, you live on in my memories. That which composed your body and your mind lives on now in nature, in the air, the atmosphere, the soil, the creatures that have feasted upon it. Right now I could be breathing part of you. One day I too shall pass away. I have another poem to read. This one is Panthea by Oscar Wilde. We are resolved into the supreme air. We are made one with what we touch and see. With our heart's I blood and those argent breasts of thine will turn to water lilies. The brown fields men till will be more Our fruitful. Heart. The stealthy creeping years have lost their terrors now. We shall not die. The universe itself shall be our immortality. All life on earth is a community, and the lifeblood of the community is water. Let us share with one another. The first portion is for the earth itself. The rest is for earth's creatures. I am not the center of the universe. The universe is the center of me. The sun is my father, the earth my mother, the world is my country, and all creatures are my cousins. We are one. And I would like to express my gratitude for my ancestors. This includes all of the physical gifts that my ancestors have given me, like having a jaw inherited from my early jaw-fished ancestors, as well as the cultural things, like the importance of reason from our Enlightenment cultural ancestors. I also wish to give thanks to my family, and especially on this day, my great-grandmother's work. <laughs> This is the center around which all revolves. It does not revolve around us, we revolve around it. As we pass round, we affirm our responsibility within the world. Let us close this rite as it began with an act of giving. For nothing and no one in this interdependent world is so small that the whole does not need their gifts. At this time I vow to give a gift of charity to save the children. The one that flourishes, nourishes the whole. As individuals we come, as a community we go. One with the world, one with each other, one with ourselves. The rite is ended, go in peace.
Thank you.